Malachi, take us through the race and uh, and the way I, I know a lot of this is just uh, you know keeping your your teammates together. What, uh, how how good do you feel about the way you guys executed today? Oh, I mean, you, you saw it out there. Those guys just ran together. They ran tough. Um, you know that coach told us before the race, like me and Ven V, our job was to go up front, just run with the big guys, cover the guys like individuals and top guys from other schools, and then the other guys back there were supposed to read the race, just find the other teams that we knew were going to be players and uh, just kind of shadow them throughout the race. And for a lot of guys who, you know, this is their first 10K, um, I think that just kind of got their mind off of how, how much longer the race is and just kind of got them in a good mental state. So once they got to the point of the race where they had to go, they, they were good to go. I mean, I don't know, they, they made it look, look pretty relaxed, pretty easy, and I think these guys got a lot of confidence going into Nationals. I saw you talking to the freshmen. I mean, what, were you surprised that they were in that mindset? And how did you, what's your read on how they reacted here today and after the fact? I mean, were they surprised at what they did? Yeah, I mean, I think, I don't know if everyone was surprised. It's just, you know, with, with young guys like this, it's, it's always kind of a toss-up once you put them into a high-pressure situation. Um, you're kind of changing the rules a little bit, making it go from an 8K to a 10K. A lot of guys haven't ran that before. So um, I think just for them to kind of go out there and get the best-case scenario, run together as a team, run well and not be going to the well, um, you know, I think I think these guys, you know, they, they really ran as well as they could have today. And, you know, you got to take confidence from that. Was the pace slower starting out than you thought it would be, or how would you gauge that? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it went out pretty slow, and I think a lot of that is just due, you know, they're guys who are, who are trying to make it to Nationals. They don't have a team carrying them there, so, you know, they're trying to be as tactical as possible. You know, it's a, it's a championship race um, for a lot of guys, so, you know, it kind, of, it kind of goes based off of what the individuals are doing. So um, it, didn't, it didn't really turn into a real honest pace until probably about, probably like, 6k or so that's when it seemed to pick up or maybe even 7k um but once that happened i mean you saw that the race really started to kind of formulate and that's where the teams that were going to make it to nationals kind of stepped out so and i know that's where it fell into place for you guys but uh how much of this is just a stepping stone and how good do you feel about uh what's what lies ahead uh i mean this, this is what we wanted to do i mean we wanted to qualify but we also wanted to defend our home turf um you know we lost this race last year and that didn't sit well with us so um, you know, we wanted to kind of come out and make a statement, but we didn't want to kill ourselves because next week is the one that matters. So I think we, we really accomplished that. We got the best of both worlds. We won our, we won our meet, and, uh, you know, I, I think we got a lot left in the tank for Nationals. Thank you. Thank you.